We was talking about 1890s, the hotel, or the boarding house. Mm. Oh, that was worth having a look at too? Yes. I better go and get my backup pack on. <laughs> be sure. well, one, more, one more thing that's probably worth saying is that this is obviously a mining area. There are lots of holes in the ground that are a bit unexpected. So if you're wandering around and you disappear down a hole, you'll know that you fell down a hole. You'll hear me. There's an example of a little one there, but that could easily be 50 metres deep, if you know what I mean, and that might only be that round. So. I think we should have opened Morris with... Listen very carefully, <laughs> I will say this only <laughs> once. <laughs> <laughs> is that because you don't listen? Is it? No. I didn't say that. Okay, sense of humour is over there. <laughs> oh, no. Excited? Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic, let's go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is great. wonderful. It is. Really. We'll look out for fungi too. Keep an eye out. Well, this wouldn't be Bell's reward, this would be a, a smaller tributary that we talked about then, I guess. One of these in the Beaconsfield Museum, I believe. Yes. Like it said. I didn't bother to look that up and see what it was because for a portable forge, obviously you're going to make horseshoes and things like that, but I suppose you could also use it to melt a bit of a bit of ore and see what you get yeah. as well, couldn't you? Yep. Part of the picture. What have you got here? A couple of pieces of even broken up badly. So that piece turns around and goes from there, somewhere like that, does it? Yeah, not on that end. There'll be a place for it though. Maybe there. Yeah. That's a like that's a more likely place for it. Or a number of things. Okay, so we can put it that way. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, you just put it back together. Mm -hmm. So that and that on top. Dips down in there, so this could be some beef feed or something into it somewhere, I don't see where. Good. Like that. <laughs> nice toys. What do you reckon, sir? What do you reckon, Peter? So, what is that? It's, a, it's a portable forge, so, so I'm told. Oh. So this, this piece goes, goes, you know, it's there like that, and that's the, that's the main bed of the forge, and it will obviously be up and flat on top. And I end up in the middle. What have we got there? A nice uh, yeah. shadow. No, it's at the very beginning, like that. 1874. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. Oh, me too. And right from the bottom, yeah. presumably. No, then I would have ended up in my bum. <laughs> Oh, that one is. That's an old one. It's got a... Oh, no, it's just a... No, it doesn't have a thing on the side. It was just a... Look at these little things. Yeah, it's painful. Small. Yeah, they're going to turn into the blue ones. Uneven. Oh, yeah. What's the magic? Yeah, the blue ones. Could you pick the other one up, Peter? Hold that one up. That one. Show us that one. like a little dead log. Oh, yes. Got the top broken off very neatly as well. Markings on it. That's comparatively recent. 
Yeah, see, Ma. It's mm. interesting that I, I ain't gonna vote for myself. I'm still amazed about that platypus down there. Yeah, I'm not a bottle expert. Well, it's still old water anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's a good sign. That mm. wasn't good old. You wouldn't have expected that. I wouldn't have thought mm. they were down there at all. Yeah. The mm. cactus is always an appeal, I suppose. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that's the end of completely level Did ground. You know, you can make enough level ground to put a you know, a six, six, yeah, shanty or something or other on there'd be any amount, wouldn't it? You know, even this little piece of ground here. For the creeks we were at Tinstone, oh. yes. Oh, you're beautiful. But it is permanent. Well, it's not permanent, but it's still Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, we'll have to get a photo of that. How are you coping? Oh, good. Old yeah. fella, old chap. Yeah, well, not too bad for a young old fellow. <laughs> There's another fungus growing on it. And we'll, uh, we've now got uh, Bell's Reward Creek down here, which we're just going to gradually wind our way down to mm -hmm. on the track and cross it. So we're sort of coming right into the heart of it. So we, sh we should start to see uh, uh, you know, excavation and what have you. Just, I think I can see in the distance even over here, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, the produce. Oh, hello. So uh, where, we, where we are at the moment, uh, we're on, the, on the, what's called the Bell's Reward Mine. Uh, the little creek that we crossed back there sort of gives us one, one landmark and we're going to wind our way down and cross the creek down here. The creek that we'll cross is Bell's Reward Creek. Uh, so W.R. Bell and James Smith worked the, worked the site together uh, in about 1891 or something like that. I think was about the, the time it over here. It wasn't wildly successful but uh, uh, they worked together, used their own money uh, and who knows what money it really made. <laughs> now, this is Bell's Reward Creek, yeah. and from here on along here, this is all man-made, like a finger dump. Um, so um, we're very close to, there's a hut site along there. It's been a lot of hard work done again. Oh yes, yes. Okay, and do you recognise that? No, to the right. Oh! Was, yes, was I do. Probably hanging up when we were here last. What have you found? It's a lichen bucket. Oh. Yeah. A lichen bucket. Checking all the black lichen around here. Mm. And there's a lot of mullet dumps around here, aren't there's there? There's a hut site there. Wow. Oh, Bloody yes, a hut site. Oh. Jeez. Jeez, I'll tell you what, it's grown over since we are here last. Yeah. Uh, that uh, sort of so, sort of say, you know, there's trenches and plates and holes and the coal shed and the blacksmith shop and all this sort of stuff, but how much you can actually find there, I've, I've got no idea. So uh, that's, uh, that's, that's where we are, that uh, we work through here and, uh, and uh, follow on from here to the discovery mine that was James Smith's mine. Frog? Can't hear any. <laughs> You're not having a shot about the fungi, are you, Morris? I'm not a fungi at all. <laughs> ah. 
joke ruined oh, it. Oh, bad joke, sorry. So what do you reckon, Peter? <laughs> Bell's reward. Mm. Yeah. We just can never get over the amount of work that's been done in mm. these places. The human effort. It's just amazing, really. It's so different when you, when you think it's all done by hand. Yeah. Well, we think we're on James Smith's lease at the moment. Later on, it was called the Discoverer Mine. So, anyway, Peter, what do you reckon, mate? Your great grandfather, he was here before you, you know. Yeah, he certainly <laughs> was. Yeah. Uh, we could be standing on right where he was. Could be. <laughs> would have certainly gone past him, there'd be no doubt of that. Yeah, yeah he would yeah. have, wouldn't he? Yeah. yeah, so there you go. Uh, yeah, well, his great great grandson's there too. Yeah. So. Mm. Yes. Mm. So, I'm so you reckon the old guy you'd be watching down on you, David? Could be. You see, <laughs> you're, you're carrying on a great tradition. Yes. <laughs> well. It's beautiful. Okay, so we're. Getting towards leaving the Discoverer Mine site, uh, we've just been down the hill behind behind the camera and discovered edit number two on the on the map. Uh, Peter's taken a, well, got a very nice photo uh, of them down there standing outside, and uh, it's about that high, I suppose, and then it's full of stuff. So that there's actually a lot a lot down in there. So uh, yeah, it's the uh, sort of the well, what direction is that? It's the sort of that, so that side of the Discoverer Mine anyway that we're gradually leaving the site now. Uh, but uh, that's certainly one of the edits that uh, uh, Smith would have been involved in uh, digging out and working so forth. It's a comparatively short one. It finishes more or less under our feet. And you're standing pretty much on top of the end of it where, yeah. we, are, where we are here. Okay, well, we've just arrived where the track veers off and goes up the hill to the Godkin Extended. But right here, where those tapes are, we veer left. So off you go, Sue, down through there. <laughs> yeah. Good. So we haven't been up to God Can Extend it, have we, Winston? No. Not the tree. I reckon it was. You got your coat securely on today. Oh, I had to day. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of old railway axles down through there. Oh yes. Look at the size of that trunk. Wonderful. Yeah. That stone work on. Oh yeah. You head along to that stone wall. What do you think? The old Cornish boiler. How yeah, about that? Look what's over the side there. Don't go too far, but look over there. Wow. There's an old two cylinder steam engine. And and over there's a shaft. Wow. We're here. We're here. You're here. You're the first thing. Mm. You reckon, Dave? Yeah. Yep. Impressive. How they got it here? Oh, good question. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yep. Chimney's fallen over now, but there you go. Okay, Fantastic. look over there. 
Right, a Morris come through me and look at this. And Peter. Cornish boiler, they tell me. Yeah, about that. Just like in the movie. Yep. There you go, Peter. Surprising. Yep. Piece of work. Yep, there's a bit of the steam pipe to the left there, and then just over the bank. Oh, yeah. mm. oh. yep, there's your engine. What do you reckon, Morris? Yes, good. Are you glad you came? Oh yeah, pushing, pushing. Need, need, need to look around now. Yes, got your big magnifying glass. Oh, I've got all of those things, yes. There's all these things that you haven't shown me on the video. Well, <laughs> sorry. Ah, well. <laughs> well, okay, Sue, so, do you wish to comment? I don't really know exactly what it is. It's, but it's a Cornish boiler to provide steam. Uh, to power the machinery down behind us, down be, down the bank, and it used to have a like a 50 foot chimney standing straight up there. So they would have got this down here, how? And all this work. Yeah, that's all been done. Yep. But this would have been so heavy. I know. Excuse me. There's my little friend in your back. Oh look, it just brings back memories coming. It, yes. It does. It's fantastic, it does. isn't it? It does. Yeah. A beautiful wall. I remember when you when we first came here last time and you said, look to your right. And I went, oh! Because <laughs> yeah. he was just coming in there and I just said I to Kim, just look over there. Like yeah. that. Good. This is amazing. I've taken a look at having a real good investigation. It's just pretty remarkable, isn't it? It's it still is. here. Wait till yeah. they see the machine yeah. inside. Yeah. Woohoo! Used yeah. to winch. Minus yes, down the yes, shaft. I'd say so. I'll just turn around in a minute. But um, what do you think about the steam engine? Yeah, you have impressive. a look at it. <laughs> big, big twin cylinder thing. Yeah. Um, Morris will give us a good run through on all that. Right. <laughs> he knows what everything does. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I just noticed the braking system they use yeah. for big yeah. steel band and there's a lever off the bottom, obviously to apply the brake. Slow the winch down. That's a, 
That's a clever trick, Morris. What do you do for an encore? Tomato and cheese Thank you. No, I don't. <laughs> with my own fair you would have faced in actually bringing the equipment in. It just astounds me. So, it's something I'd certainly like to know more about, really. Yeah. Know more about the mineral that came out of here yeah. and that kind of detail. How's Kim? I'm really good. Good. Having a good day? Yeah, sure am. <laughs> What's for lunch? I had chicken roll with pickles and cheese. Homemade good. chicken. Very good. Yeah. I've asked you that a few times in various places. Even you on sure Mount have. Bischoff. You sure have. <laughs> Having a good day? Yes. Thank you. Good. Okay, what have you discovered, Morris? It's been a lovely, lovely visit to uh, North Godkin. It really has. So, uh, for those who, well, most of most would know, this is the machinery site for the North Godkin mine. The North, North Godkin mine was an example in how not to run a mine, probably, if the truth be known. But it started on fairly dodgy information. And they rushed out and sold 100,000 shares at a pound each, so 100,000 pounds went into the site in about uh, 1890, 91. And here is your share certificate. If you want to have, want to have a look, that you can you can take your take your share and share it around. Uh, there you were, and you've got a hundred thousand pounds in the in the bank or on call for the uh, for the people to actually do something with the mine. So at the point they'd done a hundred thousand pounds, they'd uh, had a bit of a scratch around and found a few things that they called the called a really good show, and uh, thought it, thought it was a very rich mine. Uh, so the, uh, the shaft was sunk and a few, a few other bits and pieces, but the main, th main thing of interest in the site is the machinery that they decided to outlay a lot of money on machinery. How much money I don't know, but it's a significant amount. Uh, so the main, main machinery items that they bought was the winder, which is uh, this behind me, which is a two-cylinder a, a two steam engine uh, that's connected to the drum uh, and powered by the boiler up on, up on the bank. Uh, and then the winder, obviously, obviously uh, the, the rope on the winder went over to a head over the over the over the shaft, and uh, you could put things up and down the shaft. The other big issue with the site was water. Uh, that uh, all the mines in this area are very subject to flooding, and uh, there's the remains of a one pump up that way and another pump at the at the edge of the mine. I'll talk about in a minute. Do the heavy things, aren't they? Mm. Mm. But it's probably capable of giving up something like that. Oh, she's a strong thing to do that. Mm. Look, it looks like it fits. Yeah, I reckon it would. Oh, look at this, the movie. Worthy of the pump, the movie. What are your personal thoughts about this place? Are you pleased you came? Oh, I am pleased I came. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised about the, the size of these these pumps, just just how, how big they are physically. They're, uh, they're very 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 bulky. As far as this one goes, this uh, this one, according to the plate I've got in front in front of me, is made by Henry R. Worthington from New York. And the Worthingtons were um, uh, in New, in New York as their main operation for pump making back in the uh, 1880s and, and so forth. So this was a comparatively modern pump when it came out. It's uh, it's comparatively a, a very complicated pump, this particular one. Uh, it, uh, it's got a number of water cylinders, three across there and three across there, and then we've got another sort of a, another selection down the other end that almost du duplicates this end as well. I think it's another. It's by the look of it, it's another reciprocating pump. But this is this is clearly the steam uh, drive for one of them. But that that end there may bolt onto there, perhaps, but or it may not. And I can't quite see exactly how it all goes together. Uh, and this is uh, steam linkages there, and this is the usual arrangement that uh, that, that went with these reciprocating engines. And then on top. So complicated. So how would those 
um, slats of metal fitted in. But did that fit in? They're not related. Not related? Okay, because there's one sitting here. How's that drinking? I love this stuff. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> What you need. Yeah. It's not a wallaby. It keeps, yeah. the, keeps the wallabies in. Yeah. You keep the chooks. There we go. Down the firebox. Yep. That's the, door, that's the door of the boiler, you see? Is it? Really? Yep. Oh. Firebox or whatever. Is it? Yeah. Got a hole on the other side? Yeah. I think. That's what he yeah, had to go yeah, in. That, no, that's, that's the window to see in once upon a time, probably. But you, you swing, the, swing this aside and shovel stuff through. Into there. Oh boy. Somewhere there. Ah, no, I didn't see that. I thought it might, we might be real lucky and it had a name on it or something. Mm, it doesn't look yeah. like any such luck. Mm. One of those little things. Okay. I might just put it back. <laughs> That's where I found it. Nice. <coughs> yeah, just that the air shaft. Not very far from those railway wheels. Goes down a fair way. Yeah. What are you doing? You rock in, still waiting for it to land? No, 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 but isn't that just be careful? Isn't that just treacherous? <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> Here we go. It's a good way down. That's always the last. Pocket in the bag you're looking. Yeah. <laughs> Put a torch in here and I'll carry it in. I'm going to use it. <laughs> 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 That was very good, Creek. Oh, yeah, very good. Thank you. What have you got in that walking stick there? What? Just a few leaves. <laughs> Put it down on the ground. <laughs>
Righto, ladies, almost back to the car. How was your day? We had an awesome day, ladies. Very good. Sorry yeah. we held you up doing all the fungi photoing. <laughs> <laughs> we have had fun. It was just really interesting going back to, you know, the Godkin that we went a few years ago and see that the stuff's still there yeah. and introducing it to you guys. So it's been pretty special. But I'll tell you what, that distraction on the way, you know. Just and took over. It did. <laughs> So Wonderful. thank you, Winston. Thank you. Yeah, lovely day. Yeah, thank thanks you. for your patience. That's right. <laughs> thank you. Good. Righto, ladies, how was your day at North Godkin? Really good. The walk was really nice. And I think we learnt lots from what Morris told us good. with all the machinery. Yeah, sure. yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. Well, really good. You're happy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> said that before. Okay, that's no, really that's good. Cool. I hope you. you've enjoyed your day. Yes. We have, yeah. And it's just starting to spit, so yes. there we go. We've <laughs> timed it well. Good on you. Thank you. Thank you. Peter yeah. and David and Morris, how was your day at North Godkin? Wow, it was great. Had a good day, lots to see. And... Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, the, the machinery was a bit of a highlight for me. I spent a good while looking at, looking at the machinery. It's uh, funny how the camera lies, that things are much bigger on the ground than what they, what they are even on the film for some reason or other, so I'm, I'm hopeful that I'm only going to be about four foot six in there, yeah. which will, I suppose will be useful. But, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so it's, been, it's been nice to, to actually locate some of these pieces of the property, hasn't it, really? Yeah. 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 yeah, we've walked past James Smith's lease, yes. beyond Bill's reward. Yeah. Walked where he's probably walked. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Oh, pretty special. Hmm. Is your lippy on? No. <laughs> oh, on? you should see these girls. Oh, well, you've I'm seen them in the, vi in the videos. Well, when we went down to Ten Stakes, so we found. What do we find? Mura. The mirror, ah. just because someone had been down there and knocked, off, knocked oh. it off the side. Yep. Hi, how are you? And the going first today? thing she did was pick it up and go. Mm. <laughs> Lip. We're on camera. Oh. We're back. Hi, to camera. <laughs> you didn't look at her. Well. <laughs> We're back to where we came on our first trip. Yes, it's certainly. Mm. Yeah, when was that? Was that three years ago? Three more. Yeah. Ooh, that long ago. Yeah, there we go. It hasn't changed at all. It's, it's, it's amazing. amazing. Unbelievable. Yeah. This machine is still here. Got the little people around. It's just yeah. lovely. Good. And of course, now they've got extras coming we to sure have. share the experience. Yeah. Thank you. It's good. Love it. Yes, isn't it interesting? Well, we, you know what we are missing? Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, that looks good.